aspects. Say for example we want to control a bulb using a logic gate. There's a bit of a problem. A logic gate can only sync or source up to about 1 milliamp, but a bulb might need something like 100 milliamps in order to glow brightly. It's just not going to work. We can't sync or source enough current to uh, get the bulb glowing brightly. So, how are we going to do this? Well, what we need is a switch. And the switch, first of all, has got to be voltage controlled. So, 0 or 5 volts coming out of this will either switch it on or off. It's also got to be able to conduct large currents because we're going to need about 100 milliamps perhaps for this bulb. Okay, the device we use for this is a MOSFET. So, let's label all the terminals. First of all, we've got the gate, and then we've got the source, and then we've got the drain. So what does the MOSFET do? Well, let's put it into a circuit here, a very simple circuit. What we're saying here is the drain current flowing between the drain and the source depends on how many volts we've got across the gate and the source. So it's voltage controlled and it controls the amount of current. So let's put this in our circuit then. And also note that we don't need to use five volts for the bulb, we can use any voltage we want. I've just put 12 volts here to demonstrate. So if the voltage across the gate and the source is small, and what's going to happen is you're going to have a large resistance between the drain and the source. So no current flowing through there, and therefore the bulb is going to be switching off. Let's increase the voltage across the gate and the source. Now we're going to increase it until it's above what we call the threshold voltage. It's going to be the voltage at which it starts to conduct. This would normally be about 2 volts or something, but it depends on the type of MOSFET used. Now, once we go above the, the threshold voltage across the gate and the source, this resistance between the drain and the source starts to reduce. And that means that a large current can start to flow. And that means that the bulb is going to switch on.